This track uh, will carry Atlantis just to the west of Lake Okeechobee, 24 miles in altitude, 200 miles to the Kennedy Space Center. Now traveling less than six times the speed of sound. Descending at a rate of 200 uh, feet per second. Time to touch down, nine minutes, 14 seconds. The air data probes are, have been deployed. These are probes on either side of uh, Atlantis's nose uh, that uh, provide pressure, altitude, airspeed, Mach numbers, angle of attack, and rate of descent information for the general purpose computers. Time to touch down eight minutes. Atlantis traveling four times the speed of sound. Atlantis, take air data. Take air data. Six and a half minutes from touchdown, the International Space Station just passed directly over the Kennedy Space Center in advance of Atlantis's landing. Atlantis uh, currently traveling two and a half times the speed of sound, range to touchdown just 69 miles. Atlantis on energy approaching the hack, no changes to winds or weather. Nominal shoot. No change to winds and weather, nominal shoot. Now looking over the shoulder of uh, pilot Doug Hurley on the flight deck of Atlantis, this pilot point of view camera. Five minutes till touchdown. Atlantis soon will be going subsonic. Our first view through infrared cameras at the Kennedy Space Center.
Commander Chris Ferguson now flying Atlantis. Three and a half minutes until touchdown. Piercing the pre-dawn sky as the space shuttle announces its arrival at the launch site with its signature sound of twin sonic booms having gone subsonic for the last time. Atlantis, on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Pilot Doug Hurley now taking a few seconds of stick time on Atlantis. With a fitting elegance for its final moments of flight, Atlantis takes one last lap around the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis, on at the 90. On at the 90. Commander Chris Ferguson now back on the stick. Atlantis uh, descending at an angle seven times steeper than that of a commercial jetliner. Hey, field inside Houston. Happy Atlantis, field inside. As it approaches the runway, Commander Chris Ferguson will flare up Atlantis's nose to burn off excess speed prior to the landing gear deployment by pilot Doug Hurley. Again, the view from the pilot point of view camera, one minute till touchdown. The pre-flare maneuver executed. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end.
we copy your will stop, and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empower this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. Hey, thanks, Butch. Uh, great words. Great words. You know, the space shuttle's changed the way we uh, view the world, and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. There's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Inspiring comments, Atlantis. We'll meet you on 5-3. We'll see you there, bud.